Welcome everyone, this is the Shrink Gamer with another guide for the Darkest Dungeon and in this video you will see the fight against the Necromancer who resides in the ruins and learn how to easily defeat him. If you love Darkest Dungeon and want to see more guides like this, don't forget to subscribe. Abilities 6 feet under Apply stress to the entire party but doesn't do any damage. The Crawling Dead Will hit ranks 3 and 4 do low damage and summon one skeleton. The flesh is willing. Will hit ranks 1 and 2, do moderate damage and summon one skeleton. To fight the necromancer, I brought a man at arms, a leper, a grave robber and a plague doctor. The strategy is pretty simple. The grave robber and the plague doctor will focus in killing the necromancer. The leper will take care of the skeletons which the boss will summon and the men at arms will buff the party and debuff the boss. The necromancer has very low resistance against blight and bleed, therefore it's a good idea to bring characters that can stack those types of damage. It's not really necessary to bring a healer, as long as you're taking down the skeletons, you won't be taking too much damage, therefore there's not too much healing to be done. My heroes got to the necromancer with very little stress, so I won't be worrying too much about 6 feet under. Already 14 damage per round, not bad at this point. The Leper is a heavy hitter. The only problem with him is the lack of accuracy. But with the Men at Arms buff, that shouldn't be a problem. surges as the enemy crumbles. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. And done. 
As you can see, I was able to stack the Blight up to 36 damage per round, which is not bad at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos of the Darkest Dungeon. Thanks for watching.